first thing we see is a super 90s shot of a California drive-in. Beautiful. Janet Jackson out here looking like a vibrant thing. A vibrant thing, a vibrant thing. <laughs> this nigga Q-Tip trying to get her to get in the back seat so he can hit that book. She sent him in the store to try to get her hella snacks, distracting him from the coon. Apparently, he had beef with Ice T and this nigga with this wavy ass pit bull hair. Sit your ass down, nigga. Y'all gotta remember, this is the 90s, man. Niggas really did used to get killed for absolutely nothing. Kinda like they do today. And while I'm at it, let me get this dark skinned nigga the fuck up out of here. Boy. Boy, if you don't get your preteen teen wolf head ass on. Boy. You big brown Christmas tree tinsel head ass. Boy. No middle mustache having ass with the laid edge assist. Boy. You old earring from Claire's wearing ass nigga. Boy. Ice T Allen Payne Jason Lyric head ass nigga. Boy. Feeling uneasy E with your LA hat ass nigga. Boy. He get back in the car and Janet Jackson ready. Let me suck your titties, baby. Oh. I ain't want to show him getting popped. I don't know how YouTube feel about blood yet. I'm still learning, nigga. Alone, lying thinking last night. How to skip. Thinking about her pretty little green eyes. So you know it. Janet Jackson work at a salon. She best friends with Huey and Riley from the Boondocks. You remember them little badass niggas, right? Yeah. And why are you always wearing these hats? What are you hiding? Fix it, Jesus. Yep, grab your Glocks, cause you see Tupac. You know what it is. Nigga pulled up, turned the hat to the side on some gangster 90s mailman shit. You can mail your ass a job application. Shredded the bum outside the store. That bum is actually Michael Collier. He a funny ass comedian. I don't know why he reduced to this shit. Y'all ain't getting nothing but bills. Mm. Why you always so mad? You must ain't got no man cause you don't never smile. Let's cut the bullshit, okay? You wanna smell my punani? Why the fuck would he wanna do that? I mean, I get it, but come on. Jesse. Yeah. Come here for a minute, please. Uh, ew! <laughs> so what do you think? I always thought this part was nasty as fuck. That would've made me want to slap the shit out you. Like, don't blow your nasty ass breath in my face. Nasty bitch. Now they show this nigga Tupac arguing with his manager, I guess, at his job. He's scared to take this lady your mail because he getting barked at. <laughs> Did you not once consider using your mace? Mace? That's, That's how Tupac would have reacted to his music, too. He worked with Joe Torrey, but they call this nigga Chicago. Shut down! I do not fuck with this nigga. This old flat top. Boy, I'm flaming you, nigga. Boy. Boy, that fade made out of Steve Harvey mustache here. Boy. I thought you had on a mink koofy, nigga. Chill out. Boy. You big burp from Sesame Street head ass, nigga. Boy. Okay, I'm done. Well, no weekend, man. You go. Hell yeah, Old time. Gonna bring a yeah? This nigga's obsessed with brushing his hair. You can make a fucking drinking game of how many times he lifts the brush. You such a diva. The fat the back and forth. Tupac leave work. They show him kicking it with these niggas from every fucking LA hood movie in the 90s. I don't know their names, but this nigga's in everything, bro. Boys in the hood, all that shit. You gonna catch him in the movie. Hope you don't piece the day. He go to his baby mom house. She apparently a bass head and shit. She be getting fucked up in front of the kids. It's trife. He cool with the other baby dad too. They jump the nigga that's there with her. She fucking niggas while the kids home. She really nasty as fuck. She deserve all of this shit. In a time of furtive size, echoes thunder. In a time when kingdoms come, joy is brief as summer's fun. Bro, that shit was weak as a. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How you gonna drop the gun, gangster delicious? That is not gangster. That's very not gangster. Her boyfriend is the black Burt, and she convinced Janet Jackson to go on this trip with him and Tupac. And that's where you get the movie. Ta -da. Skip. Tupac obviously lived with his mom. It's kind of heavily implied that he's a bum ass nigga out here. Lucky, put that cigarette out. You know I don't allow no smoking in here. I work. I pay the bills. Shut the fuck up and put the cigarette out. Do you pay any bills up in this motherfucker? 
Do you fix anything around here? This is my house. Mine. And this lady right here, this lovely queen right here is Jennifer Lewis. She a living legend. Broadway, she can sing. She been on countless movies and TV shows. A real national treasure in black cinema. We got to give her some coins on that. For sure, for sure. Finally, we get to the fucking movie. I've been waiting to see him in these outfits. Like, damn, I ain't even recognize this shit. Get your ass in the back. Janet Jackson got that Louis luggage back then in the 90s. Is she rich? The niggas ain't noticed that, huh? Well, go ahead and make your seatbelts click, baby. We follow all safety guidelines around these parts. What you got to be so mean about me? Oh, so you one of them angry bitches, huh? Said you a mean bitch. I mean, for real though, she being stuck up and shit. This nigga Tupac been being nice as hell to her the whole time and she wanna be mean. Fuck you. Nigga gotta call you a bitch to get Look, your I'm attention. I'm a black woman, okay? Black, blacker than black, black, I'm black. Talking all that shit. Walk your ass home. Scandal. Tupac put this bitch out on the street. That nigga was a straight savage for this, but that's what she get. Go fuck you up, fuck motherfucker. You, the fuck yous out of Janet Jackson sounds so artificial. It sounds like the first time she ever cussed before. Where you gonna go? We out in the middle of nowhere. Apologize. <laughs> <laughs> now she about to get back in the car because she know that's a stupid decision. Get your ass in and quit playing. Huey and Riley had to get out the truck to come and reel her back in. They still gonna fuck you up. They pull up at the gas station to get some gas and some snacks. I hope don't nobody get shot this time for some snacks. Yo, for real, for all my niggas on the side note, look at these cheeks. Look at these natural 90s cheeks and these fucking baggy ass pants. You know they out there clapping. Go, Please, girl, that ain't my daddy. I don't listen. Huey and Riley tell Janet Jackson she don't really fuck with Chicago like that. On some straight up thigh shit. That's fucked up. But she playing this nigga. But he a sucker anyway. Fuck that nigga. Sometimes I like for my girl to have the best. Oh, nigga, you. Huey and Riley be getting fried. It's kind of a problem for her, for real. Love is a juice with many tastes. A wine which has few. Don't you matter, Skip. It wait. doesn't matter. Your nails are so dirty. Mmm, some smell good, huh? Yeah, yeah. This is the part everybody know. This is when they pull over to that barbecue, you know, where they ain't really invited. They just act like random family and pulled up, which was fucking genius. I wish I would have thought of this shit. Mm. Is that barbecue? Here we go, brushing that fucking fade. Chill out, nigga. Damn. I wanna smack this shit out the back of his head. How you doing, boy? Cousin. What's up, cousin? What's up? They meet this nigga who's obviously a part of the family reunion but don't recognize nobody because he don't even know they're not family. Don't be me. But I do find it hard to believe nobody questioned the niggas that hopped about that mail truck. Come on, man. Just call me Cuttin' Cutting Cuttin' Cuttin' Janet Jackson holding some random ass baby. Y'all motherfuckers really need to be checking on who these niggas is. Y'all don't know them. They are not part of your family and she holding somebody baby. Bitch, you stupid. You old buckethead ass. This here is kind of cool. Keep going. Janet Jackson go snatch Huey and Riley up from talking to this dude. Right in front of Chicago and them, like he didn't bring your ass on this trip. That's disrespectful as shit. Why you thoughtin' like that? Your drunk ass ruined the whole thing. Everybody could have had to go place, but no, they had to rush out of there because these niggas fighting over your goofy ass. Yeah, huh? What's your fucking problem? Why you gotta disrespect me, huh? Why the fuck you gotta disrespect uh, me? Fuck you. Fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes. Fuck the socks with the bell on it. Fuck your gay ass fairy faggot accent. Fuck them cheap ass cigars. Fuck your yuck mouth teeth, fuck your hair piece, fuck your chocolate, fuck Guy Ritchie, fuck Prince William, fuck yeah. the Queen. Shit like that, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. Shit. Oh! Ew! Dude! This is the fucking problem. I'm sick of this shit. That's all you do, you act like an alcoholic bitch. All the time, I, that's why I never go anyplace with you, because you always acting crazy. Just like my damn mama. Way to make this shit about you, bitch. Damn. Your friend got a real drinking problem, but she got to quit because you don't want to go nowhere with her. Shut the fuck up. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> Stop. 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 Stop.
Who music is that? That's Fresh Boy Mark. And I'm out here with the whole squad. She look like resort host. She look like a Hell yeah, my nigga nice. Niggas went live and it looked like a movie. Get that shit. Bitch is bad on my exes getting mad. Sorry, man. Fuck you, bitch. I mean, why you always got something negative to say, man? At least the nigga being creative. You ain't shit. Post office working motherfucker. No union ass nigga. I'm in the union. I don't mean shit. Need a fashion tip. Dingy sweatshirt wearing ass. A wise man once said, you should look at the ocean and realize. They stop at this beach and I kind of forgot that they was on a mission. Like, don't y'all niggas got a job to do? Y'all chilling out on this shitty seagull beach and shit? It's more of an introspective, reflective part. You can skip all this shit. Yeah! They end up at this kind of like Afrocentric carnival type shit. You could really skip this part too, man. I, I forgot how useless a lot of these scenes got at the end. They get back on the road. Janet Jackson and Pac kind of vibing now over some trifling ass fruit she eating that she ain't washed. Meanwhile, this nigga Chicago in the back trying to get some coon from Huey and Riley. But the nigga busts dumb fast, so she starts shredding him yet again. She about to get this nigga a non-stop roast session till he beat her ass. She really got him in his feelings. Listen to this shit. Cause that's the reason why the other bitch left you cause you can't hang. What the fuck do you have to say? What the fuck? You know what? You know what? You weak. You a weak ass punk. Boy. You think you the shit just cause you work out? Boy. You ain't buff. Boy. I wish I never met your sorry ass. Boy. Sorry motherfucker. Boy. Yeah, that's right. Brush that weak ass face. Mm. That nigga's dick can't stay hard five minutes. Mm. What the fuck you do, take steroids? Mm. That's the reason why I'm fucking somebody else. Oh! She literally flamed the fuck out this nigga. I don't see how he could have not smacked the shit out of her. God damn. Dude, pride is off that cliff. But nah, for real. Don't hit women, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, God. Motherfucker! Get off me! Yeah. Shit, you motherfucker! Get the fuck off of her! Hey! Hey! Hey, motherfucker! That's all. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Tupac get up and jay this nigga, then they leave him stranded. That's the best revenge ever. He was a sucker ass nigga. Is it true the ribs can tell the kick of a beast from a lover's fist? Skip. They finally get to Oakland and they pull up to Tupac's cousin's house. They find out this nigga got shot. It's a real sad part. I can't really make it funny unless you a psycho ass nigga and you laugh and shit like that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Man, this shit stopped being fun to do real fast. I'm about to go ahead and wrap this shit up, man. You touch me. If I had got there on time, this never would have happened. Instead of fucking with you. That was some fuck nigga shit, Pac. Come on. See, ain't nothing funny to say about this movie from here on now. Let's just close this shit out, man. This the end of the movie, well, shit, this is where we ended it at today. Tupac listened to his cousin music and decided to put that shit out and, you know, continue on his legacy. Janet Jackson went on and did her hair show. It looked super professional, but I think the Tupac shit that just happened to her fucked her up because she ain't happy. Tupac's daughter moved in with him and his mom, I'm assuming, because the nigga still worked for the post office. We back at the salon. The nigga from All About the Benjamins with the five head is in this movie. I ain't say shit about him all movie, but yeah, he there with the genie earrings on. Tupac pull up at the salon with his daughter. It's a real wholesome scene. He apologized to Janet. They kiss, and the movie is over. That's all that really happened in this movie. Like, not shit for real. <laughs> like, a bunch of niggas riding on a, a little road trip to Oakland bullshitting on the way. Some tragedy happened at the end and it stopped being really like something to make fun of. It fucked me up, but it was all right. I mean, it's still a hood classic. That was poetic justice, I guess. Fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. I don't know how the fuck you jump in my son, you little nasty ass nigga. Shut your little bitch ass up, you dirty bitch.
Taking trips out here, yeah, gorgeous scene I've been getting paid out here in the quarantine, nigga, yeah And I'm out here with the whole squad Shit look like resort hoes, shit look like a postcard, nigga, yeah Niggas went live and it looked like a movie Bottle service bitches bad, all my exes getting mad They gon' pull up outside and try to fight the groupies Don't even